Well, howdy there, and welcome to Mower Mike's Garage. Please excuse me for just a few seconds. I gotta do a little show prep. Mm. Yes, sir. Nothing like a good hit of Black Rifle coffee. And after every sip, I like to just go ahead and lick a nine volt battery. Yep, it kind of gives you that, that little tingle inside. It's just, just good for you. And that's for you Wilson boys, a little hint from Mower Mike. All right, what are we talking about today? Today we're talking about spark plug boots. I'm gonna show you how to replace the spark plug boot along with a little wire on the inside of the spark plug boot, which cramps onto the spark plug. It is an absolutely fascinating little thing in here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna rip apart this spark plug boot and throw a new one on here. Now, a lot of times either your spark plug boot gets damaged or like me, I am swapping out the ignition coil, set ignition coil on a chainsaw. And a lot of times they don't come with the spark plug boot. So hang on with me. I'm going to show you how to break one apart and then throw it back together. So let's have a little fun. All right, so the next part, as you can see, we've got a plug boot on here. No plug boot on here. So the first step, we've got to pull off this old spark plug boot off the terminal, which I get the feeling this would be a bit of a challenge. We're going to do a little lubrication in there. Come on. I know this exciting content here. Maybe if I take the little, see inside here, there's a little springy. Maybe if I can take that out first. I hope we don't totally ruin <laughs> this freaking stock terminal, but I can see we're, we're pregnant on it now. So this is gonna happen one way or the other. Oh, come on. Okay, well, we officially broke it, as you can see, but <laughs> I got the plug terminal out, and let's see if we could take out the little springer. So now I really, really hope this new, uh, this new coil works, because that thing went cheap. All right, so we got the plug, plug wire boot, and then the little uh, terminal things. All right, now that we got tore apart, we are going to reinstall all the new spark plug stuff onto our new chainsaw ignition coil. Now the way it works is that this little clip here is the most important part. So it stabs into the actual plug wire and then it makes connection with the wire on the install. So it's like that and then your boot slides over it. And what it does is that this little clip, it's what slides over and makes connection on this plug plug. So without the boot, it looks like that. Kind of crazy and kind of <laughs> Kind of gimmicky, but uh, that's how it works. Pretty wild. All right, so first thing we need to do is make a hole in our spark plug wire to sink that piece of metal into. You've got a couple options here. Pretty much anything will do. You, you can either take a, you know, a real small screwdriver, a nail, anything like that. I've got these fancy Craftsman little uh, pin tools here. So we're going to go ahead and make a hole in it. And you want to do it, you know, pre-measure it. So we're going to eyeball it right about there-ish. So I'm going to go ahead and see if we can make a hole. And don't go all the way through. Just go until you feel. Yeah, I think I felt it right there. All right, so we've got the hole in there, as you can see. Oh, you can see I already screwed it up. Made the hole a little too tight, but I think we could make it work. There we go. I can see right there. It is in there. Kind of cool, huh? Very uh, simple. So now we're going to try to slide our boot over said spark plug wire clip. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little more lube on here. Lube, lube really helps out. So a little WD, whatever you got that's slippery. All right. Let's see if this works for TV. And make sure to slide the little piece over first. Come on, baby. All right. It's going in there. I think we're going to feel it set home here this is freaking tight guys all right now i've never actually done this so <laughs> take it with a grain of salt all right so i felt it sink home so go ahead and put your a plug in there and see if it all right see we're a little off there it goes i can feel it snap in there so that means we've got we've actually got a connection that's that's pretty dang cool all right, so we have got this reinstalled. So we got a new boot, new plug wire on here and everything else. So 
we are good to go. Now, if you don't have the old one, Stearns makes a little kit. It's pretty general. I think this would work on most plugs. Um, same with a little clip. You'll just move that a little closer into the end of the plug and a boot. And I'll go ahead and put an Amazon link to the aftermarket kit along with these little cool little pin tools. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and reinstall this on the chainsaw, and uh, we're going to see if it works. Run a little fast. Ha 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 